Preface In prehistoric ages, humans had to constantly come up with new ideas and methods that can help them survive. The persistent need of improving whatever exists in order to survive in a better way led to innovation. Innovation occurs on various levels in our daily lives. It could be the use of a new product which was innovated recently by the manufacturers or the use of a new method that makes it easy to live life. Today, industries, companies and individuals innovate on various levels to succeed in their objectives. Different industries have different viewpoints regarding innovation. There are over 40 different definitions of innovation and every definition describes it according to the perspective of the individual or group authoring the definition. But all of it grinds to the fact that innovation happens when something new comes into existence. It could be a thought, a process, a method or a product. The thing with innovation is that it is limitless and it does not restrict itself to certain aspects only. Innovation has existed since the existence of humankind itself. Humans have introduced different products, ideas and services ever since they existed as hunters and gatherers. Whether it was the invention of the first wheel, the ability to harvest grains and turn it into the food we eat or use fire to cook, everything required humans to come up with new ideas that can improve their current standards of living. Now we are dealing with innovation on a more complex level since we have already reached a point where our basic needs are met very effectively. This is why innovation has become so centric for businesses and customers. Introduction What is innovation? The meaning of innovation, according to the Oxford Dictionary, is make changes in something established, especially by introducing new methods, ideas or products. A number of companies see innovation as just the ability to ideate. But the truth is that it can be relatively cheap for a person or an organization to come up with new ideas and techniques. It is the ability of turning that idea into a solution which can add value to the business that makes innovation possible. Innovation for companies is also about staying relevant. We innovate in order to stay abreast with a changing world. A company that did extremely well when it started may gradually end up losing its customer base if it decided not to innovate and leverage new ideas. If something helped a company succeed in the past, the same thing may lead to its failure in the present. A company must realize that big ideas and significant breakthroughs require time. It must incorporate the innovative culture in its environment to nurture creative thinking, big ideas and the presentation of thoughts without the fear of being scorned. Even failure at times must be viewed through the lens of positivity which helps people endeavour to innovate. Who can benefit from it? Innovation aims at benefiting everyone. Companies as well as customers are able to enjoy the advantages of innovation. For a company, innovation helps them stay relevant. It gives them the opportunity to succeed and grow. Companies are able to meet business challenges more effectively when they innovate. A company that is able to create and sustain innovation will be able to celebrate success more often. Customers benefit a lot from innovation. They are able to enjoy new products and services solely because companies continually innovate. Since time immemorial, the end users have been able to benefit from new products, ideas and techniques that were introduced to the market. How to innovate? Innovation does not have a fixed procedure or methodology. A person or an enterprise can bring changes in various ways that lead to the implementation of a new idea or method. The act of innovation is not just one instance of coming up with a new idea. Innovation is a longer process and it unfolds itself in different aspects. Take for example the invention of the wheel. What began as an invention soon led to innovation on various aspects giving rise to the cartwheel, potter's wheel and eventually helping in the establishment of the transportation industry. Innovation oftentimes begins with creativity but being creative is not mandatory to innovate. Sometimes innovation is the result of growing customer demands or fulfilling the needs of an individual or a group. Being creative is helpful because innovators require new ideas and thoughts. What begins in the form of an idea or inspiration requires a set process through which that idea can be implemented. 
The successful implementation of that idea, which eventually leads to value addition, is innovation. If a company ends up trying to innovate and implement a new idea without having thought it through effectively, there is a chance that it may not add value to the products or services. This means that it can lead to unprofitable business situations. Lesson 1. Types of Innovation First, Incremental Innovation Small changes that add value to an existing product or service lead to incremental innovation. The changes take place in the form of small updates or increments, which is where this type of innovation gets its name from. It helps in making the current product better, more effective and of a better value to the users. Google's algorithm continues to update itself, which in turn spurs websites into action to make sure that they conform to the latest standards. These changes are brought to help the users easily access relevant websites through their search results and make sure that websites create content which is more organic and improves user experience. These changes have taken place gradually and over a long period of time. This is one form of incremental innovation which helps the search engine giant provide quality experiences to its user and adds value to the search results of millions of customers every day. Second, disruptive innovation. This type of innovation makes use of new technology or processes which are applied to the current market. Disruptions can be extremely risk and to make sure that they are successful, it requires proper application of the ideas. Risk emanates from the fact that fewer people or companies may want to use the new technology since it creates a break in their usual experience. New technology also comes at a higher cost. Companies have to be prepared to spend on the disruption and they must be able to target the right audience who will be willing to pay for the product. Apple is one company that has mastered disruptions over a period of time. It changed the public sentiment related to mobile phones, turning the attention of the people towards touch screens and the absence of keyboards or too many mechanical buttons. It is a brilliant example of a successful disruptive innovation. Third, architectural innovation. When you take the components of a product and service and rearrange them in a manner that increases its overall value and productivity is known as architectural innovation. The name explains that it changes the architecture of the product by changing the manner in which the core components of the product interact with each other. These changes do not imply an alteration in core design concepts of the product. Architectural innovation is often the result of a change in one of the components, like the size or shape of a subsidiary parameter of its main design, which triggers new interactions and a new manner in which the components link with each other. An example of this is when the manufacturer of a ceiling-mounted fan used the same engineering knowledge to tweak the architecture of the fan in order to manufacture portable fans. The main design remains the same, but the architecture changes to provide value to the customers who are looking for a portable option. Fourth, Radical Innovation This is a type of innovation that garners the attention of most people because it describes innovation in one of the most perfect way. Radical innovation happens when a revolutionary idea is implemented, paving the way for an entirely new industry or has the potential of overshadowing the existing ones. The fact that innovation, in general view, is seen as the happening of something radical, this type of innovation is usually what most people believe what innovation is. The airplane is an example of radical innovation, since its introduction paved the way for an entire industry. It has since been innovated on continuously to improve the level of customer experiences it provides. Fifth, Process Innovation when a particular process of production or delivery of a product is innovated, then it is termed as process innovation. It happens regularly in companies who want to reduce overall production costs in order to achieve higher profits. This type of innovation is a must for companies as well since competition requires them to ensure that they spend as less as possible in the processes so that they can earn better revenue. An example of process innovation is the introduction of drones by Amazon to deliver products. It will significantly improve the delivery process and also change the overall customer experience into a much satisfactory one. 
Amazon Prime Air is still in its early stages, but it is a great example of process innovation by the e-retail titan. Sixth, Red Ocean Innovation Innovation that happens within the known market space is called Red Ocean Innovation. In this scenario, innovation is mainly triggered by competition. The Red Ocean refers to all the industries which currently exist. Companies are aware of the industry standards and the rules of competition. Companies try to compete with each other by innovating so that they can increase their profits and claim a greater share of the market. With the market being limited, profits are reduced by the presence of more competitors and this tends to increase the need for innovation, a situation that we are currently experiencing. 7. Service Innovation This is when a company innovates to provide a new or changed service that improves customer experience. This can happen in the form of changing the manner in which the IVR interacts with the customers, adding a new mode of connecting with the customers, identifying a new way in which the company can engage with the customers, or implementing a new idea for providing any form of service to the customer. When social media platforms first came into existence, they were used mainly to connect with friends and finally members or to befriend new people. The idea of using social media platforms as a service channel came in later and today a number of companies use it to improve the level of service they provide to the customers. For a company that has mainly used emails to contact their customers, moving to social media platform will be considered as service innovation. Eighth, business model innovation. The business model of a company consists of its mission, the processes through which it aims at achieving its objectives, its financial viability and concepts that help the business operate. Changes to any of these to improve the manner in which products are produced, delivered or add value for the customers is known as business model innovation. Since technology is growing at an unprecedented rate, changes are faster than before. This has shortened the life cycle of a business model and requires companies to continually innovate so that they can stay relevant. Airbnb began with two friends putting an air mattress in their living room and turning it into a bed and breakfast so that they can earn some money. Eventually, the business grew from offering air beds to offering entire homes and other forms of private properties which were owned by the users who listed their properties. Their business model changed to incorporate these new listings and it helped the company turn itself into an internationally claimed entity. Ninth, Frugal Innovation When a company innovates in a manner that helps it in achieving higher value with lower investment, then it is called frugal innovation. This type of innovation is common in emerging markets where capital investments are usually low. It is helpful for companies since it increases their targeted audience. Frugal innovations make products or services accessible to a larger audience since it is aimed at reducing the costs of production and increasing the purchasing power of the people in the market. Tata Motors is a car manufacturer in India which introduced the population of the country to the very affordable Tata Nano which is sold for just $2,500 an amount that is the lowest a car buyer in India can pay for when buying a car. This helped more people to travel in cars instead of using motorbikes. Tenth, Blue Ocean Innovation Blue Ocean refers to the unknown market. This is the unexplored market or untapped market which is yet to come in existence. Innovations of this kind can create demand and lead to a lot of profits for the innovator. A blue ocean market does not have any standards or rules because the market does not even exist till it is innovated. When an entirely new industry makes an appearance, then it is known as blue ocean innovation. Innovation of this kind requires more grit than any other type of innovation because it involves the beginning of a whole new industry. The acceptance of the audience for the new industry is almost unknown and it may be difficult to forecast the success of success in innovations like these. 11th. Sustainable Innovation Sustainability has become centric to many business models. Making sure that a business innovates with sustainability considerations integrated into its processes and policies leads to sustainable innovation. 
when companies generate ideas that lead to its sustainability and are in the best interest of the environment, then it will help the social, financial and environmental factors. Aquafina's sustainability campaigns have shown how the company has been able to reduce costs and also create a more environment-friendly brand. 12. Open Source Innovation Open source allows people free access to the design and implementation details of the final product. This means that more people are able to use it to innovate further and create new products by improving, recreating or using the information. This is also known as crowdsourcing and has been gaining traction in the recent years. Open source innovation helps a company innovate and share its strategies and ideas with others in order to nurture further innovation from the crowd. While this type of innovation is generally associated with the modern-day business landscape, the idea of open-source innovation goes way back. Benjamin Franklin did not patent a lot of his inventions since he wanted those ideas to be used by the world. Unrestricted access to designs today is becoming popular because of the same mindset that the world needs it. These are the most common types of innovation that companies around the world use to improve the quality of their services products and customer experiences. It goes without saying that the motive behind most of the innovations is to ensure steady profits and beat competition. But there are some companies that innovate to help the society and positively transform the world. Lesson 2. Innovation Patterns Innovation patterns are ways in which innovation generally trends. There are five different innovation patterns used by companies to innovate and grow. In recent years, a lot of companies have started combining more than one of these patterns to innovate more effectively. With the rise in the number of businesses around the world, it seems typical for companies to want to be able to innovate in more ways than possible. This is probably the reason why patterns are beginning to blend into each other. First, using data generated by physical objects to improve the product or service. Now that we have technology to help us with devices like sensors, which can easily be fitted into products so that we can gain data through the devices, companies are beginning to find use for all of this data to innovate. Data like these can make a considerable difference in how a process, design or operation should be carried out. Smart home devices are largely based around the data collected this way. With the help of sensors, devices talk to each other which have led to the creation of smart home devices that control most of your home objects. Second, digitizing physical assets. Another common innovation pattern is the digitization of businesses and their assets. Music, videos and books are now available in digital form. The availability of these digital assets is giving rise to new ideas and models like online stores where books, music or videos can be downloaded or rented. Netflix is one such entity that has used the availability of digital videos which is the basis of its business and has helped it grow into an international brand for renting and watching videos. Other examples include iTunes which is an online music store for numerous users. Amazon's Kindle does the same, but with books, making it easy for readers to enjoy digitized books instead of having to buy physical books every time a new book is out. Third, combining data within and across industries. When the availability of big data is combined with technological advances in the IT industry, the results can be extremely beneficial for the whole world. We have seen how fitness trackers have helped people keep a check on their health, reducing the number of times they visit a doctor. When two companies or two different sectors share the data they possess with each other, they can help build more valuable solutions for their customers in an effective way. A car company, for example, collaborates with an IT company to introduce advanced technology to the car, helping the owner enjoy a car which is better equipped for driving. These technological advances can be as simple as including a GPS system to improve navigation. Fourth, trading data. This is very similar to the above point, but the difference is that data in this case is bought by the company. When a company has a lot of data which can prove useful for someone else, then they may end up selling that data for a price. 
Facebook, for example, accumulates a lot of data through the many users who use the social media platform every day. The company makes some of this data available for free while it puts a price on the rest, which helps businesses and firms track their performance on Facebook and find out a number of details which can prove important for the growth of their business. Fifth, codifying a service capability. IT systems have brought around a wave of changes. By codifying a service capability, we mean that a business is able to take a particular process and use IT systems to perfect it, standardize it, and sell it, thereby increasing the profitability of the business. This innovation pattern is what cloud computing stands for. Through cloud computing, businesses are able to innovatively offer their products and services. Businesses are able to innovatively offer their products and services as software and include a range of pricing options, which was otherwise not possible for the company like Pay as Go. These five patterns can be used individually, or they may be combined together by a business to innovate in more ways than one. In fact, some of the examples shared will show that one type of pattern eventually combines with the other to help the business achieve better growth. There are lots of questions which come up in the mind when trying to bring a change through a new idea or technique. These questions help the business identify the patterns that they can follow to innovate. Lesson 3. Characteristics of a good innovation program With innovation being centric to almost every business today, every leader wants to find out what are the characteristics of a good innovation program so that they can incorporate those features in their programs. Each of these characteristics is simple yet very powerful. Innovation is easy when done right. People may believe that innovators are extremely creative and have special knowledge or skills that set them apart, but the truth is that creativity is but an aspect of innovation and many businesses or people have innovated even though they lacked creativity. First, a good communication strategy. An innovation program requires different departments to work in synergy so that the idea can be implemented successfully. This means that communication is of great importance when departments discuss the benefits, drawbacks, challenges and possible impacts of the idea. Different departments may have their inputs about how it can affect their working and when all of these are tied into one, innovation becomes possible. To innovate is not just to idea it. It is to make sure that the idea is successfully implemented by the business and results in positive business outcomes. Second, a strong leadership team. No matter who creates the idea, it eventually falls on the leaders to see through the success of its implementation. A strong leadership team is able to keep the team energetic and enthusiastic about the program so that the chances of success are high. At the same time, Good leaders act as a source of inspiration and encouragement when an idea does not materialize successfully. This gives the team positivity and helps them be more optimistic about ideation. Innovation requires a business to stay relevant and to improve its current product and service offerings. When leaders create an environment where the team works towards bringing positive changes and has the spirit of adaptability to changing business environments, then such business are able to stand the test of time. Third, ongoing engagement. Innovation is hardly a one-time thing. When penicillin was first discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928, no one knew how to use it for treating infections. It was not until 1942 that it was finally put to use. This shows that innovation succeeds itself and should eventually have innovation in a new way, which adds more value to the last one. Innovation is never stagnant and it doesn't end. It is an ongoing process until the time new ideas continue to take form, innovation cannot end. Fourth, a sense of urgency. This behavior is stemmed in human nature. Most people work more effectively when there is a sense of urgency created around a situation. Just like we get an adrenaline rush in our moment of fear or anxiety, innovation sees something similar to the adrenaline rush when a business or an individual has no other choice but to innovate. When deadlines are set, 
people are pushed to their limits to work towards implementing the idea or to simply come up with an idea which in turn leads to innovation. Fifth, measurable outcomes. Innovation is most effective when it has measurable outcomes. Measuring the success of an idea helps a business identify if the entire process of implementing the idea was a profitable move or not. This is why the most successful innovation programs invest in ideas which have measurable outcomes. Anything from the amount of time saved through the innovation to the reduced cost of production or the increased customer base acts as a scale of measure for the results of innovation. Once you can measure the outcomes, you can prove that the innovation was successful. A good innovation program has these characteristics. Everything from the leadership team to the outcome matters. And each of these characteristics is like a cog in the bigger innovation mechanism. With one of them not working properly, everything else may begin slowing down or coming to complete standstill. Companies who fail in innovating successfully usually have one of these characteristics missing in their innovation program. Lesson 4. Current Innovation Trends Now that we know the different innovation types and patterns used by industries across the world, let us discuss the latest innovation trends that are affecting the global market. These trends can be found across different industries, bringing to light the manner in which breakthroughs are being created in companies. First, being customer-centric. Customers are enjoying personalized experiences by more and more companies every day. The traditional approach where all customers were traded alike is a thing of the past. With big data and digitization, companies are better equipped to find out the likes and dislikes of a person and cater to their requirements more effectively. Have you seen how your internet behavior is used by advertisers to present advertisements that may be more meaningful and of more relevance to you? Data in various forms is becoming extremely crucial for companies who want to target the right audience instead of using a medium through which their advertisement is seen by an audience who may or may not find it relevant. Being customer-centric is an age-old philosophy. In a technology-driven world like ours, this ideology fuels innovation in companies by helping them bring a phenomenal shift in not just the manner in which marketing is done, but in the overall outlook of the company towards its customers. Second, microeconomy solutions. Lots of companies have started innovating on the payment front by using microeconomy solutions. These solutions are available in the form of micropayments, microdonations, or other form of payments on a smaller scale, like pay per hour rentals. The availability of technology for even the smallest of business owners and the ability of these businesses to leverage technology in a way that can make products more affordable and reduce overall costs has made microeconomy solutions viable for customers and brands. Third, sharing economy. Businesses are concentrating on reduced maintenance costs and higher revenue. Competition continually makes them explore ways in which this can be made possible. One of the best ways in which a company can reduce costs is by encouraging openness and a business model that heavily relies on social networking and social interactions. Examples of such businesses are Airbnb, which is known all over the world as an accommodation provider and yet does not own the properties listed on its website. Similarly, Uber is a taxi provider that uses vehicles owned by others instead of buying vehicles of their own. Companies like these rely on sharing the resources and bringing together smaller individual entrepreneurs, creating a stronger, more powerful business model. Fourth, direct to customer. Intermediaries may not find innovation to be very supportive for them because as companies try to innovate and improve profits, they are doing away with middlemen. Businesses want to reach customers directly so that they have a stronger relationship with their customers and improve the chances of customer loyalty. In addition to improving customer bonding, this innovation trend also helps companies reduce costs. An example of a company which is innovating on this front is Netflix, which delivers content directly to customers by removing cable companies from the scenario. Fifth, self-service. 
Another innovation trend seen in the companies is the use of self-service technology, which allows customers to effortlessly serve themselves without having to wait for someone to help them out. This is especially beneficial for customers who understand technology well and do not want to spend a lot of time waiting to talk to a person. This is not something very new, but self-service was earlier limited to fewer businesses, but now it is getting popular among other brands as well. Banks, mobile service providers, internet service providers, travel companies and shopping are some common industries which are using self-service. Sixth, Smart Machines Whether it is Apple's Siri, Microsoft's Cortana or Amazon's Alexa, machines are beginning to sound friendlier and they have the ability to easily manage your home or office for you in very many ways. This technology is still expensive, but it is already available. Hilton Hotels and Resorts trialed their first robot concierge at Hilton McLean, Virginia, in March 2016. It was the first time that the hospitality industry was going to use a robot to service their guests. The robot was named Connie after founder Conrad Hilton, and it led to some very pleasant guest interaction in the hotel. This is one of the ways in which companies are innovating to use smart machines for superlative services. While the human interaction is always a valuable one, machines can provide swiftness in the work that is completed. Many other industries have been trailing robots for guest services too. Chatbots are also on the rise, helping online users and redefining the manner in which services are provided to the customers. 7. API Economy API is short for Application Programming Interface, and it is one of those technologies that are catching on like wildfire. Companies are able to bring about digital transformation and introduce business agility to the brands. APIs make it easy for users to integrate certain features in an app or develop an app. There are lots of companies that depend on the PAI economy because their existence is on the foundations of the API technology. These are the current innovation trends that are bringing exponential changes in companies and customer experiences. Customers have the ability to choose from a huge number of brands when it comes to using any product, but what makes one brand stand out from the other is their ability to continually innovate in the right direction and stay relevant for the customer and his requirements. The Internet and technology are serving as new pillars on which many innovation trends are being based, and while some may fade away, others will inevitably have a lasting effect on the company's ethos and the customers that they serve. Lesson 5. Why are some people uncomfortable with innovation? The implementation of an idea results in change. Big or small, innovation always brings in a change, and some people may just be averse to change. New and revolutionary ideas are not always liked by people. Some people like things the same old way. They do not want any changes because they like it when everything is familiar. Most innovators don't understand this viewpoint of the people because of their enthusiasm to being a change. But there is a chance that an innovation program may see people who are not comfortable with the idea of innovation and it is good to know why they feel this way so that innovators can come to respect their differences and work together. First, they do not like change. To a certain extent, all of us find it difficult to accept changes. It is often seen as a breach of trust and for those who take it seriously, it can create stress. The brain perceives anything new as a risk so it tries to protect you from the unknown by simply having you avoid it. While some people are too sensitive to changes, others see the advantages of stepping out of the comfort zone. Those who can push themselves off the limits and embrace the new are innovators. Second, they are too pessimistic about the new process or product. People who harbour a lot of doubt about some innovation programmes because sometimes innovation may require the replacement of a product or a feature that is liked by the crowd for something that innovators feel will be liked even more. Sometimes this may work, but those who are uncomfortable with innovation may feel that if the audience does not have a problem with it, then why replace it with something new at all? Sometimes it turns out that innovators may actually get it wrong. 
For example, Samsung launched its flagship phone Samsung Galaxy S6 without an SD card slot in favor of a sleeker design. But the audience was not happy with it, so they had to bring it back in the next generation of their flagship phone, Samsung Galaxy S7. Third, they feel threatened. When a company innovates, the changes may make a difference in the leadership team as well. If the innovation program is not successful, stakeholders may demand a change in the members of the board or the leadership team. This can be very pressurizing and it may impact a person's outlook towards innovation. Fourth, they want to avoid failure at all costs. Failure can be very terrifying. Innovators must accept failure as part of the innovation process because a change may not occur as smoothly as accepted since business work in an environment which has many variable factors. It can be sudden changes in the market sentiment, the introduction of a new breakthrough technology or bad timing. Some of the best companies in the world have been prey to failed innovation programs, but that does not mean they stopped innovating. The idea is to identify the problems and find a solution which can help the business successfully innovate. A business can take a number of steps to reduce the risks of failure, but it cannot completely risk-proof an innovation program. Conclusion A lot of people ask the question, why is it important to innovate? Let me ask you, why not? Why did our ancestors stop dwelling in caves? Why did humans give up being hunters and gatherers? Why did we need electricity? Why did you need an air conditioner in your house? Why do we need cars to travel? Your answer to each of these questions will accurately sum up the need for us to innovate. Could we imagine life without any of the amenities that we enjoy today? While some came through invention, a lot of innovation was required around these inventions to make them usable and viable for us. Innovation has helped us enjoy a life of utter comfort and has improved the standard of living for people throughout the world. It may not always be easy for people or businesses to come up with fresh ideas or introduce new processes all the time. But their need to stay relevant automatically spurs innovation in every successful business. A lot of times people mistake innovation for creativity, but that is not true. You may not have to be creative to identify a production process that can considerably reduce the cost of production for a company. Similarly, you do not have to be creative to identify that a brand will do better if they use the digital platform for marketing their products. There are certain aspects of innovation which are linked with creativity, like improving the design of a website to make it look more attractive for users. But successful innovators aren't always heavy on the creativity side. Another thing to realize is that a business or an individual may not end up innovating by thinking of the type of innovation they went. Usually, innovation takes place and then a company realizes which category or type of innovation it falls under. Knowing the types of innovation is mainly to understand the different areas in which innovation happens. Innovation patterns, however, provide a good insight into what is going on around the world and it can be helpful in identifying a way or a pattern which you may want to follow to innovate for your business. Keep in mind that innovation is not just the conception of an idea, but the ability to implement that idea successfully in the current business environment and ensure that it ends up adding value for the business and for the customers. Sometimes, innovation programs end up being unsuccessful, maybe because some factors change during the process of the implementation. But just because one attempt fails does not mean that the company should give up on innovation. Business leaders must continue to motivate their teams to face such failures and still move ahead with a stronger, more robust plan.